Parker asked for. I heard we had some new arrivals wash on in. Military types, they said. Can't really see the difference between you and the ordinary class of mercs. Well, much as I'd love to shoot the shit with you tryhards, Sheriff Daisy said to let you go on in. So, go on. Give them Dorseys some hell. Marshal Lupinski, I expect you to moderate your language in the presence of a young lady. My apologies, Miss West. I meant no disrespect. Best of luck to you and your companions here. It's the Garden of the Gods. Rocks, experimental farms, and now those fuck... those... Dorseys. Nope. No room for amateurs in this town. You hear? No room. him up and bring him back to Doc Parker. for a whooping. Oh, 
God. Did the Patriarch send you? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I need to warn you. The Dorseys are gathering up ahead between the Gateway Rocks. Bellamy! Bellamy, look at me. Have you seen my family? Are they here? Lucia? I thought you were with your family. Oh, thank God you're not. Thank God. They went up ahead with their hostages, but... Lucia, I heard gunfire and screaming. You need to be ready for the worst. If they've done anything to my people, I'm going to end them all. Please do. I'll tell whatever I can to help. It's not much, but... My name is Bellamy Ward. I'm a scientist. I invented the solar collectors and experimental farms on top of the rocks. I was calibrating the solar arrays when the Dorseys came through here, herding their hostages with them. So I hid up here and kept out of sight. They're savages. Animals. They beat those people. Laughed at them when they begged for their lives. The kids were screaming, so they beat them too. Then they dragged them all further on toward their camp. God, no, I was stalling for time. If I had a few hours in the right chemicals, though, I could have prepared quite a surprise for them. The PALs, Photon Amplification Lenses. They harness and focus the ambient light. It's fascinating, actually. They polarize the waves and create constructive interference. Normally, they maintain a stable temperature for the plants, but they can be adjusted to help power the solar collectors or even thaw frozen components. I once coupled a PAL with a dynamic cross-photon matrix. I was trying to cook some bison steaks, but it incinerated the whole fire pit, melted the entire grill goes to show what can happen if you put a decimal in the wrong place. A while ago, we found some old non-functional solar panels from before the deluge of fire. I couldn't figure out their function at first, until I recovered a microcircuitry board and developed a laser spectrography process. I realized that I could help solve some of the electrical generation issues that have always been a problem for the city. I think they took everyone to their camp, just past the Gateway Rocks. What about my family, Belle? Last I saw them, they were all right. They were scared and a little banged up, but they were still alive. You saved ah! my life. I won't forget it. Stick with me and maybe I'll... Ah! of a truck!
I'm glad the merchants are already back to work. No kidding. What now? Finally. Get started on those patients. It isn't that bad, is it? Just... They wouldn't stop. Why wouldn't... Jumped out of a building to escape the Dorseys. Didn't count on the ground stopping me. What now? There are people dying right here, right now, I can. Sure. Okay. You're good. Good luck. Bad, is it? Just flesh wound. Am I right? You should see the other guy. Bad, is it? Just... It isn't... That... Bad, is it? Just... Flesh wound. Am I right? You should see... The other guy.
closed my wound. <laughs> I won't miss staring at my own guts. My leg! You said it! Ugh, still hurts like a bitch, but maybe I'll actually walk again. Feeling better by the minute. You saved my life. Where? What's going on? Did you patch me up? What now? Good. Thank you. One sec, though. I know I've asked a lot of you, and I'm grateful for what you've already done. But I need one more favor. You see this girl? She was shot in the head, but there's no exit wound. The bullet's still in there. I need to keep constant watch on her, and I need cleaner, safer facilities to do it. If you let me use the facilities at your HQ, I'll... I'll do anything. I'll work as your doctor. I'll fucking juggle for you, Rangers. I just need to save her. What do you say? Thank you. Thank you. You've saved her life. And mine. Need anything before I get my stuff together? Of course. Let's have a look. Good luck. What about you? You got any stories for us? I've got them by the dozen. But you two idiots just keep talking.
Tommy Ward, PAL operational test number, uh, 110. I have adjusted the angle of the solar collectors by 3.12 degrees to improve the energy transmission from the photonic amplification lenses. I've also attached a more sensitive voltmeter to the test panel, so I can hopefully get a more accurate reading of the conversion rate. Everything's set. Here we go. The photon amplification lenses are operating at 60% ambient light, approximately what we would expect on a typical day in Colorado Springs. Checking the voltmeter now. Yes, it's working. Energy storage is 12% above norm. This is better than I hoped. Now, if I can get the storage rate up...
No. Can't see a... a thing. Who would do this? Who would murder families and children? Who would burn them so badly that we can't even tell?
I don't know if they're here or not. I can't... Come on. Let's find the monsters who did this. That... That was one of the Skylar girls, I think. Seems like we ought to leave her alone. Feels an awful lot like grave robbing. Agreed. On behalf of all of us here, I want to offer our unconditional surrender. As proof of our goodwill, I want to tell you that the culprits got into town with help from Farron Brigo's organization, and... and... Isaac, how could you? How could you throw in with these people? How could you let them take my family? Where are my parents and my little brother? They're... they're in the grave you passed on the way here. They didn't suffer, Lucia. I promise. Baby, look, I didn't mean it to go this way. I tried to stop them. I, I really did. I begged. Stop talking right now. We... we thought we were in the right. The Dorseys promised that we could take down the Patriarch. They didn't say anything about murdering hostages. What about all the other people they killed? Or was that part okay with you, Isaac? It was Melius Dorsey. He went looking for your family, Lucia. Your family especially. That's why I got you out of your house before the raid. I didn't want anything to happen to you. You didn't want anything to happen to me? So you let savages abduct and murder my family. You knew what they meant to me. You knew what their loss would do to me. But you're still alive, Lucia. Don't you see? You're still alive, and that's what matters most to me! He escaped. He took some vehicles and headed west into the mountains. I don't think he was planning to come back. We've been under the Patriarch's boot for 50 years. We say that the Hundred Families are in charge, but it's really just his family. Just him. I know you must think I'm a fuzzy-headed idealist, but this society's sick. It needs to change. Farron Brigo's gang helped them get into town. I don't know how or why. And I overheard Neelius say something about Liberty Buchanan, the Patriarch's daughter. I think... I think she's going to attack Colorado Springs. It sounded like she's gathering an army, out in the plains. Something way worse than the Dorseys. I have heard enough. If your betrayal of my family was not sufficient, your treachery here most certainly is. In the name of the Patriarch, I sentence you. Please, Lucia. I did this for you. All I ever meant was to help build a better world for you for all of us. I can't tell you how much I regret. Please don't kill me. Please. A better way? I can't think of one. Not after what he did to my family. You want to let him walk away from what he's done? I have justice right here, in the palm of my hand. I am more than happy to meet it out. I would be delighted to be its instrument. Thank you. 
Thank you. Come in November 1. This is Ranger HQ. We're getting reports of shooting in your last known location at Garden of the Gods. What's your status? Over. Copy that, November 1. Dispatching an arrest team now. Good job getting those sons of bitches. Over and out. You let Isaac live? After he gave aid and comfort to the enemies of the Patriarch? After he helped them kill my family? You let him live? Why arrest him when you killed all those others? What made him special? If I had been in the house, I could have saved them. The whole night could have gone differently. Or... Or am I fooling myself? It took all of us to beat them. Likely I would have died too. <sighs> Very well. I accept your decision to let him live. But the people who are truly responsible? Neelius Dorsey and Liberty Buchanan? I will bring justice to their doors. Will you help me find them? You can count on my guns every step of the way. Of course. Good. You've got yourselves a bargain, Rangers. We should go after Nelius Dorsey first. Isaac said he headed west into the mountains. No doubt he plans to hole up at one of the old resorts from before the bombs fell. I don't think we're ready to face him yet, though. Neelius will be dug in, I expect, and he'll have all his best people with him. He only left behind the Expendables in the garden. I thought she said she was gonna follow orders, not give them. For now, we should head back to the Sheriff. How's the family? Shut your hole! I knew you slept with my wife. Hey, 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 slow down. I didn't, I swear. I have... It's Nay, on the Arshals man. They've been really... Hi, y'all! Name Snappin' Let's. Hi, y'all! Name Slits! Oh, Get your Colorado Patriot here! Hot off the press! Either of you ever worry about getting hits to a pillory? I think we should pull some marshals from Broadmoor, put them here in downtown. If an enemy gets all the way to Broadmoor, we've got big problems. <laughs> but then, 
Who'd make the precious hundred families feel old? I like your style, Rangers. I asked for a favor and you came through for me. Of course, I'd have liked it better if you sent Isaac Reed and his traitor friends to me rather than locking them up in Ranger HQ. Seems to me that if somebody commits a crime in Colorado Springs, they should face Colorado Springs justice. And I sure would appreciate it if you keep that in mind for the future. Glad to hear that. I think we'll get along fine. Now, before I forget, let me introduce you to Hope Emerson. She heard all about you coming to town, and she wants to join up. Ain't that right, Hope? Pleasure's mine, Rangers. Ran the lockup in a little town called Amity on Colorado's eastern border. Figured I could do the same thing for you at your HQ. Assuming you'll be arresting people now and then? Amity got flattened by the scar collectors a while back, so Hope came west. Been trying to get her to join the marshals ever since, but she keeps turning me down flat. We uh, have some differences when it comes to crime and punishment. But that aside, she's smart, honorable, and she'd be an asset to your organization. Great. I'll head over to Ranger headquarters in a bit and start fixing up your brig. I can't think of a better way to serve than to ensure that our justice is fair, even to those who transgressed against it. So, back to business. Did you find out how the Dorseys got into town? Figures. That rat slinked into town about five years back, and the patriarch, God love him, offered him a place to set up shop. Been nothing but trouble ever since, so him making a deal with the Dorseys doesn't surprise me in the least. In fact, I had a hunch he might be involved, so I sent my best man over to his nightclub, the Little Vegas, to search for a connection. Haven't heard back from him, though, and I'm a little worried. Say, what if I asked you rangers to go to Little Vegas and check up on him? And if you happen to find proof that Brigo helped the Dorseys while you're there, well, feel free to cuff the bastard and haul him in. Take down Brigo for me, and I'll make sure your HQ gets the best equipped armory this side of the Rockies. Guns, ammo, armor, the whole shebang. The marshal I sent to the Little Vegas is named Delgado. Family man and the best inspector I've got. Keep him safe, and I'll owe you another favor. Always a pleasure, Rangers.